All right, how's it going, Trash Fam? This is Soldier of the Cross, and I am a console streamer. If you are like me, you know that extensions and Twitch are our best friend. And Owned TV, Owned Media, they have created a free stream alerts extension um, that allows you to have those free alerts for follows, subs, bits, all those great things that really connect us with our communities and engages our viewers um, that you might not have if you don't have a PC or broadcasting software. They have this free extension through Twitch that allows you to have those same kind of alerts. I've been using it since I started streaming a few months back. Went in today to kind of do a quick guide on how to set that up. Come to find out there's a completely new version of this extension I want to go through and uh, show you the changes in this extension that have happened and um, maybe test it out and see how it works on stream. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive in. When you're logged into Twitch, um, go over to the creator dashboard and click into extensions. You want to search for free alerts. All right, that's gonna bring you the very first one that comes up is free stream alerts by owned.tv, owned media. Um, this is the uh, extension we're gonna be talking about today. So just wanna click through a couple of screenshots here that they share of how this is going to look on your stream. If you knew exactly how this looked before to now, you could automatically tell there's some new styling. It looks like these have been completely redone. And it also looks like these are part of a theme. Uh, one thing that kind of looks exciting as well is that I'm noticing that there are these other little icons on the stream Hopefully it's connected into this same extension, um, but it will show you latest followers, latest donation, things like that, that really haven't been there for us console streamers. Um, so that is pretty exciting. So I'm really looking forward to diving into this a little bit more. Um, so here's just another example of, of what the extension is when you go in to configure it. Um, it seems to be tied together to a theme. So now they've got this theme store section and an alerts configurator section which I'll show you in a moment, has a lot more functionality and more settings, more customization for each individual alert. So let's go ahead and configure this one. Let's go ahead and install it first. Click configure. All right, now I will let you know that there are a couple of screens that will pop up before this. Um, one, just to get you to authorize um, this extension to use your information. Um, it's just an agreement that you know this this extension on TV can access your information on Twitch um, It's pretty standard for any extension that you put in so you'll just authorize that Come back to this extension and when you come in and click it into it for the first time It's going to ask you to do a free trial or a premium option basically premium option kind of unlocks all of the themes for this extension um, actually right now there is a 50% off sale on owned.tv that you can get out this is a lifetime license for this twitch alerts extension if any new styles any new themes that come out new alerts any themed alerts you'll have access to all of those things it's a lifetime thing great deal right now actually 15 bucks is not a bad investment so I did want to point that out but you don't have to go that route. You can do the free route and you're gonna see something on there that says a 14 day trial. Don't let that scare you at all. Confirmed with the devs on their Discord um, that that is something that was uh, brought in incorrectly, but that there will still be free themes for you to choose from after that 14 day period. So nothing should change if you do the free route and it goes past 14 days. So don't let that scare you in any way. Speaking of the Discord, um, there is a testers discord for owned.tv so I would recommend you go ahead and join that discord share your feedback with the team so that they can continue to improve uh, these products um, because I think these are really incredibly helpful for us and uh, all feedback is good feedback and we'll look forward to continue to, to build and work with owned.tv on this so two sections brand new um, in this extension now one is this theme store which was not here before they had alert themes but it was nothing like this so there are a handful of themes here one thing I, I wish they had was some kind of preview of these themes when you click on them it just has a prompt um, for you to install the theme pack but there isn't, isn't really any kind of preview to show you the different alerts or 
the different sections that might be on your stream and how that all looks and sounds together because there are sounds connected to these alerts um, that are specific to each of these themes so it would be nice to see some kind of preview uh, but there's nothing like that built in just yet so we're just going to go ahead and click this very first one and install this brave theme pack all right we've got confirmation that it's been installed then we're going to click over into alerts configurator and here the very first section you can test your alerts out once you've configured them and installed it as the overlay one on your stream but you have to be live is what i'm being told so we will do a test a little bit later on to see how each one of these tests function um, and if they're showing up okay and things like that it will also let you know if you don't have these alert variations added to this list i have already added them in but if you don't have them added into this list it will show you right here um, and say you currently do not have alerts for follow subscribes resubscribes things like that so to add that alert variation um, you just click here and then from this drop down you'll select that and and create that alert variation i kind of wish it was like the old section where you could just buy a check mark just click or unclick whichever ones you wanted to be showing or not showing but this brings them down into a list one thing i do notice is that I, i'm missing some icons I'm not sure if this is a loading error on my browser or something within the extension but i'm missing quite a few little icons here that are supposed to be here throughout this section not a big deal but uh, just knowing that they're still working on so many things in here I think that's uh, it's gonna be a reason why so to go into each one of these alerts and customize them a bit more uh, you just click over into them you'll see exactly what is going to be showing on the screen on the alert as far as the text this section right here name it'll that'll just be the name of the person who subscribed so it'll be uh, jstorm23 just subscribe for example so there is a section here for a subtitle this is brand new. I'm interested to see how this is going to look on stream. And there's some more advanced settings. So apparently there is a style as far as maybe where or how these alerts come into the stream screen. Uh, so I don't even know exactly how this is. Like I said, there's there's no preview for these things. So above banner and side don't, just don't mean anything to me at this point, but I'm looking forward to um, just tr maybe testing some of these out and see where it goes it does show that there is an image already in here and a sound file Obviously these are connected to the theme that I already picked out for these alerts So I'm not going to touch any of these advanced settings just yet But knowing that this is a new version This is some functionality that they have built in is pretty exciting So we'll take a closer look at some of these things in the future But for right now, we're gonna leave everything at its default settings um, one other thing that i have noticed up here is that they, there seems to be an open preview button but when i click on it i get taken to another web page and all i've got is a green screen so i'm reaching out to the devs at own.tv and seeing um, what it's all about if there's something i'm missing that needs to happen before i can get this preview and what exactly this open preview section is supposed to do for us when we click on it um, but I do know that to run these tests, you've got to be live. So we're gonna go ahead and go live and test out some of these alerts and see how they show up on stream. All right, guys, well, I've got the stream fired up here and uh, I've got everything set up as far as I need to have it set up. Um, I've got it installed, got it configured, got all my alerts set up and I have it set as my overlay one on my stream. I'm gonna go ahead and try to run a couple of the tests see if anything pops up and then I'll try a manual follow from another account to see if that triggers the alerts too so we can take a look exactly how it's looking on stream all right let's go ahead and try it out all right so the follow went through I'm still not seeing any alerts thus far um, it does look like it's on there as my overlay one so not quite sure why it's not showing up just yet obviously this is a brand new um, version of this extension that was just dropped so they did say there are known issues that they're working through um, so hopefully I'll be able to do a follow-up video and they'll have worked out some of these issues and we can try out some of the things some of the advanced settings with this alert configuration and see what some of the themes look like as well um, see what you know what it brings to the table as far as giving free alerts and an overlay for console streamers 
like you and I. All right. So I will catch you in the next one. I'm Soldier of the Cross. I make content around gaming, streaming, and the technical aspects of content creation. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evening at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, so go ahead and drop a like and subscribe if any of this was valuable to you. And I will catch you in the next video. Have a great day.